Well, in the race for Congress, Tulsi Gabbard earned over 55% of the vote, beating former Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanneman. With the primary election behind her, Gabbard's focus now turns to November's general election, where she'll face Republican nominee Kavika Crowley for the second congressional seat. And Tulsi joins us in studio this morning to talk about her strategy in the next few months. Good morning. Congratulations. Good morning, Good morning Jill. Thank you so much for having me here. Have you had any sleep at all? Very little. <laughs> That's okay. I can sleep tomorrow. There you go. Okay, well, what do you think was the key to your win? Really, it is the hard work of our volunteers all across the state uh, and really the clear choice that voters made uh, and that we saw growing throughout the campaign. Uh, people are frustrated with the status quo, the same old, same old, and are really looking for that positive, fresh leadership to move us forward. And uh, it was that message that really resonated with people as we went throughout this entire campaign. Were you surprised by the, the relatively large margin that you won? I by? was. I was. Uh, you know, throughout this campaign, uh, we have worked hard, not taken anything for granted. There were numerous polls out that showed very different numbers. Uh, we just felt it was so important to reach out to every single voter all across the state uh, and get across to them how important their vote was and what a clear choice there was in this election. Now, I know that this morning you're going to be going to the Unity Breakfast, which is going to be at 7 o'clock this morning. And you ran a very hard-fought campaign, um, even allegations of campaign spending violations against candidate Mufi Hanneman. Have you thought about what you're going to say to Mufi when you see him this well, morning? You know, we had a brief conversation last night, and uh, I appreciated his call in congratulating uh, me and our, our entire team on our, our win last night. Uh, look forward to working with him and with all the other Democrats who are going to be there this morning as we move forward to the November elections. And that's a good question. What is your strategy now uh, going into the November elections against uh, Kavika Crowley, Republican candidate Kavika Crowley? Well, we're going to continue working hard, um, continue the conversations that we've been having with people on every single island across the state, continue listening to their concerns and seeing how we can work together all the way through November and hopefully beyond. Well, what's going to happen now with your council member seat? Um, I guess you'll be serving in that capacity, at least until the general. Well, you know, my primary concern is making sure that, that my constituents within the City Council District 6 are taken care of, uh, and I'll be looking to uh, resign from this seat so that the special election can be held in conjunction with the general election to save taxpayer dollars so that there won't have to be $150,000, $160,000 spent for a special election. Oh, so you have decided that you will resign before the general election? At some election? point. We're working out oh, the details okay. still, but uh, my main focus is making sure our constituents are well served and saving taxpayer dollars however I can. The other option would be then to wait until the general election and then someone would step up and there would be a special election following that, correct? Right. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. And I know that... Uh, we have a big, a lot of work ahead still. We do have a lot of work <laughs> ahead. You know, this has really been um, a job application process. I've seen this as applying for a job from the people of the state of Hawaii, and it is a tremendous privilege uh, and a great responsibility that I take very seriously to have their trust and confidence placed in me, uh, and I look forward to being able to have the opportunity to serve. Thanks, Tulsi, Thank for coming you. in this morning. Thank you so much. And now to see this interview with Tulsi again, just head to the top video section of our website, KITV.com. It's now 6.48. We'll be right back.